All right, guys, how are you guys doing? My name is Miguel Martinez, and I represent a company called MTC Life. We're a life coaching company for children and youth. Right now, what we're going to do something really, really simple. I got about five minutes with you guys, so we're going to be really, really quick. Sounds like a plan? <gasps> Sounds like a plan? Okay, this is what we're going to do. Right where you are, I want you guys to stand up. We're not going to be dancing or anything like that, but right where you are, I want you guys to stand up. Everybody stand up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. All right, this is what I want you guys to do. We're going to do a little bit of a rhythm, African body percussion. I'm gonna do something you guys are gonna mimic me, but it's called mirror. I will do first, oh sorry, it's called echo. I'm gonna do first and then you guys are gonna do next. Sounds like a plan? Okay, here we go, ready? So I want you guys to do this. Ready? Did you understand all that? Yeah. That was pretty good, right? <laughs> okay, this is what we're gonna do. So, go. Ah, it sounds so good, ready? Here we go. Let's do it again, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go. One more step and it sounds like this. Ready? Go. <laughs> All right, take care, guys. Alright, my next, that was rhythm one. I'm gonna teach you rhythm two. Very, very simple. Rhythm two looks like this. Go!
the, the, the sexy comment through some of you are. <laughs> okay. So, what was the what was the one thing that I kept telling you guys to do after, after giving you the instructions? What is it? Don't stop. What else? Keep going. What else? You sound good, keep going, don't stop, keep going, keep going. I kept, I kept being that loud voice in your head. Entrepreneurs, leaders, educators, listen to one thing they have to tell you right now. The biggest mistake that you can do in life when you're trying to accomplish your goals and dreams is stopping. That's the worst thing that you can do. You need to understand that right now. In your life, you're gonna have all these people that are gonna come and tell you, a lawyer? A, a business owner? Are you serious? You're gonna, you're gonna do what? In Brampton? That can't be done at, 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 at Centennial, your school? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Share it with it, yeah? <laughs> you know what I mean. But there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be in your life telling you you can't do something. Now, if you wanna know one thing, when you're in a GPS system, the GPS, for it to be able to reroute you or to show you your different destination, another way to go, you have to keep moving. You have to keep moving. You can't sit still. You do that, you're letting them win. You do that, just say goodbye to your goals and dreams. I'm gonna tell you one quick story and then I'll be out of your hair. Okay? The very, very simple. <laughs> Let me just show you this really quick. Well, actually, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, it's, it's a very personal story. My, my wife, we have three boys and, 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 and two girls. Okay? Yeah, yeah, big family. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to choose your name. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Very bad. So we, we had three boys, and then we wanted to continue going. We wanted more. We wanted, at least we wanted a girl. I've always wanted a daddy's little girl. And so then we just kept going. And you know what? Uh, she, she became pregnant, and three months later, um, she lost the baby. It was really, really hard. She started crying, and I was like, I'm a guy, and I don't know what to do, and, you know, you know, and I'm trying to comfort her, but what can you say? The minute you find out that you're the, your, your bearing child, you, you make this instant bond with that child, more than a man. So then we're like, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna continue going, or are we gonna, are we gonna stop? She goes, you know what, let's try it again. And so we did, we tried it again, and she became pregnant again, and we were so happy, and four months later, she lost the baby again. And, and it, it, was, it was hard. And what do we do? Do we stop or do we keep going? And then we tried it again. Three months later, we find out that she's pregnant. And here I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do because I don't know if I or her can handle one more loss. What do I say? What does she say? What do we tell the kids? Five months later, five, six months later, we find out But that pregnancy is actually twins. We're so excited. That's Isla and that's Vita. And they are the most. They're the most important thing in my life. I love them. And I knew how hard it was to get them. And my theory is that they don't want to come by themselves. My theory is that they wanted to come out holding hands. Now, what would have happened if I would have stopped? What would have happened if we just said, you know what, we can't do this anymore? Don't stop. I need, you need to understand that right now. Whatever goal, whatever dream that you have, you go for it. Don't let anybody tell you different. My name is Miguel Martinez, I love you, and I really, really do, and I hope you guys can understand that. You only have one life to live, and you make it the best life ever. Sounds like a plan? Yeah. Sounds like a plan? Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much.